Give me some mo, mo, mo. Give me some mo, mo, mo. Give me some mo. Time for Mega Man Legends 2. Do, do, do. It's gotta be that dramatic of an opening for this in particular. Alright, old man. I don't like you, and I'm just gonna go past you. Because apparently that's all I had to really do. Well then. <laughs> Oh, today has One been a day. This place looks pretty cold. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you for telling me good luck. Also, do I have my highest charge shot? Oh, jeez. Okay, so... Ooh, I found Xenos. Cool. It looks like there's a place where the floor's weaker around there. Try shooting it with your buster. Oh, oh God! <laughs> that was scary. I was about to say for a second, like, like I knew it exploded, but it, and then it didn't. Okay, so this is the ice level of, of this little place here. Got it, got it, got it. Um, let's just go ahead and... You know what? That works. We'll just do it that way. Ah! <laughs> God dang it. Get out of here. All right, I, I do not know what my my power buster is, but I assume it's good. Oh, come on, come on, buddy, just just a little more, just a little more death to you. Now what are you doing? Try try, try to freeze me, I bet. And they're just they're just giving me health. Why are they just giving me health? Usually it's it's Xenos and such. Hmm. Oh oh my God, there is something down there. Let's not go down there, careful, shan't we? Mega Man. It looks like the floor is weak in that area. Ow. Of course I had to go down there. We'll just leave you alone. Oh, God. I like I actually had the ability to just, like, go on that little thing and then I just kind of fell. <sighs> but definitely seems like we have, like, a nice power boost going on for ourselves. So that that's good. Um, That much I remember to keep myself on. What what is what is what is with you people? You know what? Just screw it. Just this. I'm not gonna. Also, was not aware I could do that. But whatever. Go back. Go back. Oh. This place shouldn't be nearly as hard as the water level because I could simply move properly. I may not be able to move, you know, accurately, but I can move properly. On top of that, I got a power buster. Got a powerful buster. The only biggest problem that I'm facing right now is I can't collect Zenny so well. And that's bad. That's real bad. Mm, da -da -dum, da -da -dum. Okay, cool. Whoa, I'm finding a lot of Zenny with just that. Ooh. Oh, jeez. What was with that? Oh! I think there's a way to get up to the next level. Look around. I honestly did not know this is like a little, little little trap thing. Um, apparently I go up here? Go, go, go on there? Why is there a door like that? And then what's over here? Kind of nothing. Can I? Yeah, I could go up. Oh, 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 yeah. Just, just leave you alone. Just leave me alone, sir. I gotta collect all the Xenos. Because you never know how much Zen I'm gonna actually need uh, later on down the road. In the ceiling that looks like you could get through. If there is, you could probably shoot it out and climb up. Okay. But how do I how do I shoot up? Okay, literally just the camera direction. All right, fair enough. That means I do have to get rid of these people. God dang it, I hate this mess. Buddy. 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 Why do they think this is a good enemy? I, I want to know, honestly, because, like, legit, it just slows me down. It slows this whole entire game down just to get rid of this one enemy here that takes forever to kill. And this guy right here is just not exactly cooperative either. And there's two of them. There has to be two of them. Because why not? Buddy. Okay. Boop. Um, show up. There we go. Oh. I was about to say for a second there, like, well, what's gonna happen? I'm guessing I have to kind of like breeze through this, like so. Watch your step, Mega Man. It looks like the floor. Ah! <laughs> well, 
I know what happened there. Thankfully enough, I should be able to get through this. I probably just need to be a little bit more dainty about it, rather than just try to like be super cool. Which, you know, I really wanted to do, but it's not happening. Also, camera angles. Camera angles, please. Camera angles, please. Camera angles. Camera angle. Camera angle. I don't know why that was so difficult. It just was. Yeah, you just need to just, just just run for it, honestly, and then you're good. So that's why there was a little little like thing going on right there. We're just like, oh yeah, there's a thing here. Looks like there's an opening you can use to get down to the floor underneath you. Except it's covered by some kind of energy barrier. The blue barrier key. You can deactivate the barrier with a control panel. I I just got the blue barrier key. Um, uh, I mean, I literally just got the key, so I assume, I assume there's a thing here, and there is something down here, there is. So this kind of works in like a, a multi-layer sort of situation here, I guess like 3D chest, if I knew how to play 3D chest. Yeah, okay, so we'll go down here. Um, you know what? We'll just, we're not going to worry about this for now. We probably just need to get the actual key and then move on to another place and then figure that out from there. Um, also there's a guy here. I did not know there was a big buff guy. He's also dead. Which is good. Don't want him to be around. <sighs> How was there a big old buff dude there? Like, I didn't see him the first time. I, I literally did not. Thankfully enough, I do enough damage, just, just rawly so, that they are not a problem whatsoever. Uh, those guys, on the other hand, they are very much a problem. Um, and they keep hurting me. It's not nice. They are just not nice people. Alright, keep on going. Well, what is this? Uh, yeah, download an item. Item data downloaded. Items, locations will appear. Internal map display. Okay, cool. So that helps dwindle some of the mystery out there. Although I kind of wish that they would do it to the point where like Zelda does it. Where it's just like, hey, you know, you also get like an actual weapon to go along with this game. Because honestly to me, Mega Man Legends feels so much like Zelda. Like so much like Zelda. And that's the main reason why I like it so much. You just incorporate it in a more um, futuristic uh, type of situation, and it just it feels so good. It really does. Like I like in all honesty, no joke. I, I like it that way. But as as a whole, it just kind of sucks because you, you kind of just just left with um it almost being there, but just doesn't quite get it. Also, I'm going the less obvious route because usually when you go the less obvious route. Um, you get extra cool stuff. Like this. I can just... I can just... <laughs> um, yeah, release the blue barriers. Okay, cool. That's what we wanted. I knew where that was. And then, uh, go down here. Release red barrier. Unable to. I need a red barrier key. So, I know where the red barrier key is. So, we should just go back anyway. Which is sad, because... Ugh, I gotta walk all this all over again. Sad face. But I do, I do like the theming that all this has, honestly, and it just makes me happy that they they did more theming towards the dungeons and whatnot. Which you know they kind of did in the first one. Um, they didn't make it to where it it felt as homey as the first one, though. I will say that with this game, I'm just kind of sad about that because it's like they could have, they could have done it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. Alright, cool. Getting a lot of monos. That's what I need. We need plenty of monos for this, because honestly, there's a lot. I go unpacking. You know what? That may have been the actual thing here. I, I, I can't do anything else here. Yeah! Um, we need to go back to where that, that blue uh, thing is. Yeah! <laughs> Um, and then we should be able to get whatever the, the red barrier key is released from. 
So I guess it's one of those things where it just kind of like, kind of pats it, but not exactly. It's always weird. I don't know what to call this exactly because I don't feel ex exactly like um, padding, but at the same time I'm just like, mm, you're darn close. You're darn close to doing exactly that. Oh god. Are, are the, the things? Yeah, they're gone. That's weird. I, I don't know why they're gone gone. I probably should have just stuck to my guns and just gone. Would have been better off. Oh god. Now on blue fire. Whatever the heck that means. Could you not? Oh, does that mean that I just can't like lift or something? No, I can lift. I, I, I could definitely lift. I got this cool blue flame on me, so that's pretty cool. Oh, but it does do damage to me. I, I just noticed that now. Hence why I'm lower damaged. Oh, boo, 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 doo, 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 doo. I'm really hoping that I could beat this game today, because honestly, the first Mega Man Legends game has me really scared. It has me scared because they were just able to pad it ridiculously so, because I was at the very end of the first one, and it's just like, I did not have the manpower to do it. I really didn't, and even with the amount that I did take to actually beat the final boss in the first one, it took so long to actually do it because you have to learn the pattern and everything. And that's the thing that gets me so scared. It honestly gets me really, really scared. Um, that the next, like, I won't be good enough to actually beat this game after the fact. God dang it! What the fuck? God! Ah! Stop stun locking me! It's rude! It's so, ever so rude. I was all the way to the end too. I was all the way to the end bit. I should be up here then. Yeah. Okay. Now where do I go? Oh god, it, it just walked in front of me. They normally don't do that, I am uh, honest. So I'm guessing there's extra stuff here. Considering that this is a new area. Oh god. Um, let's get rid of all these things that are trying to kill me right now before I start going after the one that's just, you know, generating those things that are trying to kill me. That's good. Do not like these purple guys. They, they are not fun. They are not fun to deal with. They're eva- um, exasperating. The ceiling. You should be able to shoot through it and make an opening. I like how she has to tell me because I literally cannot tell. Like, honestly, I can't. It's like not even just my bad eyes, which I do have bad eyes. I do. I'm sad about it. Whatever. There should be a door in that room that leads to the next gate. Looks like there's a barrier there too. You can probably shut that one off if you find the right control panel. Yeah, which which I almost did. Now, aren't these guys supposed to be like bosses? I recall that being the case last time. All right, come on, buddy. Get out of here. There we go. Give my stuff. I'm trying to get as much zenny as possible because I really do not want to be stuck in the situation that I was the first time that I went through Mega Man Legends. Just, just that's my only bad experience with that game, which says a lot for one. When your your worst experience with the game is that you just can't play it well enough to just comp compensate for like dying so much and such. I'm just it's like ugh. Hey, Dreamy, how you doing? I'm glad to see that you're, you're still talking about Twilight Princess. It's one of your favorite Zeldas. And it says that I really hate Wind Waker. Yeah, I'm well aware of the meme I little put down. I put a little meme on Twitter and the freaking <laughs> Dreamy was just like, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, ooh, map data, thank you. I would always need map data for myself. I, I, I need it desperately, so. Waterfall was just making you, uh, do all this stuff to accumulate weapons uh, for her to sell and pay for expenses again. Honestly, I find that's a really cool, uh, neat idea. That they, she just pretty much is like, you know what? I need the money, so I sold all your all your stuff that you killed in the first game, which is just great. Honestly, I love it so much. I think it's one of the best ways to kind of like Metroid itself. And honestly, I hope more games do that. Or just when you explain reasons away in a, in a, com a comedic basis, it's just so much better. 
it's so much better at, as a whole. Oh, that's pretty cool. Actually, separate the rooms with, with the ice things and such. Get off. But, I mean, I don't understand exactly why you like Twilight Princess the most. Um, <laughs> uh, here on Dreamy. That is something that does not make sense to me, because... Honestly, I don't hate the Wind Waker at all, but I don't hate Twilight Princess at all either. I was just vastly disappointed with Twilight Princess. That, that's my biggest problem with it. And it, it made me unhyped for literally every Zelda game that comes out. Um, I mean, I'll get the hype when I'm actually playing it, but I no longer get the hype when, when, I, when I do otherwise. Oh god. Don't just... Oh my god! I was literally just, just trying to shoot at these bots and then automatically went to this guy. Which, again, I don't, I don't know how to get rid of this guy because, oh my god. So mean and rude. Why weren't the CDI games on it? Okay, Dreamy. Okay. This is the way it worked. There, I'm pretty sure there were certain other games that weren't on it either. Also, I'm trying to switch to um this thing here to see if it actually does better stuff. Alright, am I actually damaging you? It is this does this just damage you? Because honestly, I don't know, buddy. You just kinda stand there. And you just take the hits. See, like that just goes off him. But this seems to actually do damage. Why aren't you dead? We're just, just, just gonna ignore him. Honestly, it's it's just best to ignore him. Okay. I hate this stupid camera angle to this. It's annoying. It's annoying as heck. Ugh. Hyper Witch Zelda game. Any newer Zelda game, like, legitimately enough, um, that's just what Twilight Princess did to me. Um, I just don't feel hype for it. Like, ever, ever, ever. I didn't feel hype for Breath of the Wild for different reasons, but when it came to Skyward Sword, nope. When it came to, um... Shoot. Well, um, the 3DS game, actually, now that I think about it, was kind of the only other one. Um, I just did not have any hype for that at all, either. I mean, it was interesting and cool that they were coming out, but I just, I just gave it a glance. I wasn't thinking it was going to be the best thing ever. Just one of those things just like, you know, a little bit, little part of myself died when I, when I finally played Twilight Princess, and I, I just waited so, so long. Because I was definitely one of the few people out there, well not one of the few, one of the many people out there that did not like Wind Waker's style um, when it first was announced. And I'll admit wholeheartedly, as soon as the game came out and I played it, it grew on me. In fact, it made me annoyed that the game is not nearly as long as it should be. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about it really. Yeah, there should be a door right there, so let's go ahead and just punk this guy out. I get out of here. There we go. Oh dear. Okay. Ooh, this gotta be something good. This it's gotta be. Ooh, the red barrier key. Okay, so we got the key that we need. That's good. Very good. Yeah, you do need to play more of the handheld ones. Uh, Link's Awakening. It was actually the first Legend of Zelda game I played during me, and I love it to death. Um, it has very sentimental parts to me. Link's Awakening does. Oh no, I'm gonna have to like cross this without like falling, huh? Yep, automatically failed that. Good job, Dodo. Good job, Do. God dang it, I'm gonna have to go all the way back. I have to go all the way back just to, just to get in the shot. I hate this stupid thing. I always hate it when they do this kind of crap. It's like, you know what? Mm. I'm just gonna go ahead and go mm, do it. <sighs> Alright, back up here again. Awakening was good, just the ending was a bit weird. That's kind of the biggest reason why I like it so much, because the ending was so unorthodox. And overall, just a lot of it just kind of meant a lot. Like, it just... Awakening has so much more, like, personality and characteristics to itself than Link to the Past did. 
and that's where I got a lot of my assumptions of Legend of Zelda. Just a little bit more than just dungeon crawling and exploring around. It was also about the characters that lived in it and whatnot, and what you did to help save them and everything. And that's kind of the biggest reason why I like Link's Awakening so much, because it's so subtle with its little talk about that, essentially. I hate, hate, hate this jumping mechanic. I cannot control how far I actually go. It is always either the most fullest or to its wonkiest. There is no between. There is no, this is just right. There's only, it's gonna fall right there. And every time I have to do this stupid thing, which I'm annoyed every time. Ugh. Well, didn't realize we moved to the style. That's what the train one. Oh, okay, that's what you're talking about. With a train one. Um, Spirit Tracks is easily the worst Zelda game to me. Like, legitimately enough, Dreamy. Um, when I played Spirit Tracks, I was like, no. Just no, I hate it all. And it's not because, like, the train is, like, real, like, modernistic or anything like that. It's just because it's stupid. It's stupidly dumb. And I hate it. One. Two. Alright, you know what? I'll take it. I'll, I will take that. Hopper. That was close. Where the hell does that get me? You know what? Screw it. We're just, we're just gonna jump over here. Because honestly, I, I do not want to blow my chance to get over here. What is this for? Or two, or what? I do not understand this mess. All right, I guess we're just going further down. I'm picking up three medium-sized reaver bots in the room ahead of you. It looks like the doors are locked, too. The doors are locked, but no reaper's home. Oh, they bounce off because, question mark? Why are my bullets bouncing off? I don't understand. It's Look locked. Like one of the doors open, Mega Man. Why did the door open? I I don't understand why the door opened. Ooh, wow! Look how much Zenny I found, which is that. Oh, why did it open? Why did it open that way? Uh, let's go over here. Okay. So that one didn't magically open. And also, now I am on fire. Um, it is really bad and it hurts. Why? Did they fall into these little pit holes? Is that what I gotta go do? Oh dear. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy! Oh, you're, you're really gonna do this? Okay, I almost got him. How do I get them to, to go? Come on, buddy. Come on. I know you can do it. Well, that was close. That was really close. Ah! Jerk. What are you doing now? What? How do you stop on a dive like that? Don't stop on a dime. You haven't stopped on a dime before. Toro. Got him. Another door just opened. So that's how you do it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, what is this? Oh. Little, little, little man here just trying to get me. What? What's going on? Why do they keep making those dusty things? Why are they making it all dusty? That's rude. Okay, so we got that. Please give me help. Yay, we have help more. Okay, cool. What is over this way? There's gotta be something good, right? There's gotta be. Turbocharger. Hoo hoo hoo! Hold up, I could I could quit that right now. 
what's my turbocharger? Okay, we got the power raised by four, which is cool, but what about our turbocharger? Energy max. Um, I have no idea what that means. What the frack does energy max mean? I really don't know. He stopped on a nickel last time. Oh my god. Ain't that the truth, though. Then again, nickels are, are, are bigger than dimes. I guess that's that's more of a compliment uh, on dimes than anything else. Stupid jerk. Stop. Stop. Stop trying to live. Bad. I do not understand these things at all. They're just kind of disappear like Naruto and just, just come right back. Okay. Time to kill the last one off. That one. This shouldn't be too hard to do. We got, we got most of them. Okay. Hey, buddy. Come over this way. Okay, now I just need to bring his attention again. Bring, bring his attention again. I almost got him. Look, Lee's is right there. He's just, just right on that thing. Okay, come on, buddy. Dude, that sucks. That sucks so much. Why would you do that, Dreamy? Oh, okay, good. Gotcha. Dreamy just informed me how bad of a gamer they are. They're like, I thought my DS case is loose. <laughs> Yeehaw! That's honestly, that's how I imagine you saying it, Dreamy. That's exactly how I imagine you're, you're saying these kind of things. It just, it hurts me. It hurts me a lot that you say it this way. Also, I have no idea if this is where. Oh, this it is. going on to.